Guitar 101 Rammstein, and I'm back with another Balama tutorial video. Um, as you'll see, I'm putting a couple videos up today. Uh, one is explaining why I haven't posted anything for a while. Yeah, and I also said I would do some videos as well, which I'll do now, because as soon as I sat down to edit, I realized I had to restart my Mac, and it's doing a massive update that is taking over a half hour. So, good time to knock this video out. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple riffs. I was um, actually forging a wall mount for a bottom mount. You'll see in the other video, I talked about this, and it's a giveaway to one of my top subscribers and supporters. Um, well, I was making that, I had to get the bottom mount to test it out, and it's been a while since I touched this thing, to be honest. I'm kind of rusty, but I also started to get some ideas, came up with a riff. And I want to show you this rip, how to play it, and a couple variations. Um, basically, you're going to be learning a little bit of the Phrygian scale, Phrygian mode. And this kind of helps you with some technique like hammer-ons and pull-offs. It's a pretty easy riff. I'll walk through it. First, I'll play it, hopefully, without screwing it up, because I am rusty. Yep, I screwed it up. Let's try it again. I keep changing the way I'm playing it because it's something like every time I work with it I get new ideas but that's kind of what I'm encouraging with this is you get the basic notes down and then try different techniques and variation on it and you know when you're learning a scale that's the best thing to do with it so in this situation I'm using a short neck balama I'm tuned a on the very the strings closest to the ceiling the lowest pitch middle course is G and bottom is D if you're using a long neck or different tunings, you can still do this. It's all in one string until I put the octave in. The only thing I might change is you're going to have to find different frets to match the octaves, and that's also a good exercise. So, we'll walk through the first part. And I realize I'm throwing in hammer-ons and pull-offs in various places, so I'm going to do a more simplified version. So I'm starting with the open string on the top course for this part to fret four. So open, two times open, and then fret four, then slide to seven, and then to ten, and then seven, ten, seven, four, seven, four. And then one, four, and then we're gonna do a hammer on, pull off to, hammer on to four from one, pull off to one, and pull off to open. So it's like this. And if you're kind of getting the pull offs and hammer ons down, try to just kind of repeat that slowly and in a tempo, like. On speeding it up um, and that's the gist of it I mean you can add pull-offs and hammer-ons between all those frets you can go crazy with it and we have one two three four five notes to work with put those notes in any order you want try to mess around with it try sliding different techniques And then the next part, we're going to go into the middle course of strings and use the top open strings to fret three. And it's basically, you can kind of imagine it like fret three is now the open string uh, on the first version. So then this is fret one, etc. But I'll walk through the fret numbers. So we're going fret one, to seven, to ten, to twelve. 
10, 12, 10, 7, 10, 7, uh, 4, 7, to 3. kind of rough example of a riff that I'm working with and just different variations is try. The main things you're going to get out of this is working on your hammer-ons and pull-offs and moving notes up to an octave. Good exercise helps you learn the fretboard which is a little bit more complicated than, guitar, than a guitar or a bass guitar with the additional notes. So that is it for this one. Uh, <laughs> Max has 14 minutes left for the update, which means probably half hour. Um, so, might try to knock out a few more videos today. I'll work on editing them, get a couple uploaded today, and some more to come in the near future. And check out my last video, or it'll, the video that comes out as well today, if you're interested in a future giveaway I'm, I have in mind to do. Hit subscribe, hit like, keep me motivated. Thanks for watching.